hundred dollars is a lot of money, <laughs> especially when Sephora is out here trying to get us to drop forty to sixty dollars on a basic cleanser that's going to dry out our skin. So I have created a skincare routine from the ordinary that is under a hundred dollars. It includes your daytime needs, your nighttime needs, and even targeted actives in case you want to do a chemical peel or a face mask. I've also tried to curate all of these so that they work together so that nothing cancels out the benefits of something else or could potentially make skin more reactive. So this has been a fun weekend experiment and it probably took way too long for me to do, but when you can obsess over inexpensive skincare for six hours, why do that instead of adulting? Point in case. Let's start out with the morning. The first thing that most people recommend you do when you wake up is wash your face. Now, fun fact, I actually don't do that. <laughs> and if you want to know why, I have filmed a video talking about my skincare routine here. You can kind of learn a little bit more about it. Um, but in general, most people either sweat at night or dirt and oil builds up, or if you sleep with your hair down, some products might get onto your skin and could cause buildup. And a cleanser in the morning is a good way to start with a clean slate. It makes you feel awake as well. And then you can follow it up with everything else in your routine. This is the Squalane Cleanser from The Ordinary. This is a really cool product because it comes out as kind of like an emulsion, like a cream, but then when you warm it up in your hands and on your face, it actually turns to an oil. And again, that kind of oily feeling helps to extract some of the oils that might be built up on the skin. Now, this is actually not my favorite cleanser ever. We're going to talk about that a little bit more when I get to the evening skincare routine, um, but I think there are better cleansers on the market. Yet for $7, it really can't be beat, especially when Tatcha and like Youth for the People are out here trying to charge us 40 bucks to dehydrate our face. So the good thing is that this is non-stripping to the skin and you can follow it up with your toner. This is one of my favorite products from The Ordinary. It's the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. And glycolic acid is an AHA acid, basically it helps to exfoliate the skin. It can help brighten. It can help if you've got acne. It's really good for acne prone skin. And it can even pose a benefit to those who have wrinkles or pigmentation. For instance, if you get little spots, little dark marks that are left over from the sun, from scratches, or from acne that are kind of dark or purple, it can kind of help to try to fade or deal with those a little bit more manageably. Glycolic acid does come from sugarcane and it does penetrate the skin really deep, so it goes to the bottom where it needs to. And as a toning solution, um, this is a 3.6 pH. You normally want toners that kind of balance out the skin, but this does help to exfoliate, which means the next products will penetrate deeper. These are the niacinamide and zinc serum as well as the buffet. And again, this is what I love about The Ordinary is that they give us these potent actives at inexpensive prices. The problem is when you look at niacinamide 10%, zinc 1%, and polypeptide chains, it's really hard to know what those mean and what they're going to do for your skin if you don't have a background in skincare or in cosmetic chemistry. And especially mixing things can be dangerous, but that's why you can mix these two things without any issue. Um, if you do have oily skin, which is <laughs> my nose, it can tend to have blackheads, you can tend to have more breakouts, and you always have to blot throughout the day. The niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% is a solution that actually helps to combat sebum, aka the oil and grease on your skin. This can help reduce the size of pores, so if you do have really big pores, especially if you're acne prone, this stuff is phenomenal. It can shrink the pores, it can help regulate that sebum production, and niacinamide is a B vitamin, and so it is a little bit nourishing and even gives a nice little slip to the skin. This is slightly sticky as well, so it does work good underneath makeup. The only thing about this is that if you have dry skin, your skin underproduces sebum, that oil, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for someone who has dry skin. If you do, just spot treat on any pimples or any blackheads instead of using it all over. The other good thing about this, other than the fact that it's five bucks, <laughs> is that it is very resistant. Resilient. So in general, you can wear this in the sun and not have issues. You can use this alongside other actives and not be worried that they're going to cancel each other out. Then we have the buffet. It comes in at $12, uh, maybe $15. There's another one that's like uh, with copper that goes up to $30. And the buffet is essentially a whole bunch of peptides and amino acids. If you remember back from biology, amino acids form these peptide bonds, which are what eventually get folded into proteins. And proteins in our skin, such as collagen and elastin are the things that keep our skin firm and tight and looking good. And if you have issues with wrinkles, if you have issues with fine lines, or even if you have scarring, that is the proteins in your skin either not being as elastic anymore or rebuilding in the wrong way. 
So the idea behind peptides is that you're giving the skin the little building blocks that it actually needs and that it can build up the good collagen and the good proteins in the right way. The science is kind of out on it, so we don't really know if it works. That's why I don't want to drop like $150 on a peptide serum if it's not gonna do anything for me. But for $12, this is a really nice product. Overall, it does brighten the skin, it feels good on the skin, it's very smoothing and hydrating. And if it's helping me fight wrinkles or if it's helping me kind of diminish some scars, I'm happy about that. For $12 to $15, that's literally the price of one morning's Chipotle and Starbucks. <laughs> like you really can't get better than that for a month's use of skincare on your face. So that's that. Now, of course, because we live on planet Earth and the sun is kind of a thing during the day, you always wanna be using a sunscreen. Also, because we use the toner, this is slightly exfoliating and you don't wanna exfoliate your skin and go out in the sun without protection. So this is the mineral filter number 30 and antioxidants. I'm so happy that The Ordinary finally launched a sunscreen that is mineral and that actually has some good benefits to it. It is hard to find mineral sunscreens that really sit on the skin nice, that don't flash back, especially if you want them to not degrade. The thing that makes the sun so dangerous are the UVA and UVB rays that can get into our skin and cause damage. And reactive oxygen species are these things that we call ROS. All you really need to know is that they're very damaging to the skin. And when the sun hits the skin, a whole bunch of different things happen, but one of them is that free radicals are produced. Free radicals, I just want you to remember that they're bad. They degrade the skin, they can cause damage, they can cause cancer, they can lead to a host of problems. The good thing about antioxidants, whether you eat them or put them on your face, is that they fight free radicals. I love that The Ordinary put antioxidants into their sunscreen. This is so important because the antioxidants basically give themselves up first before your skin or your cells or the pieces of the chemical bonds that hold your cells together do. All you need to know is that this is both a shield and a protector. It's kind of like you put a band-aid on a wound, that's the shield shielding you from the sun, but then the band-aid you put like a healing neosporin ointment on it. So it's also healing, which is the antioxidants in here. I love this, I can't recommend it enough. It's like 10 bucks, it's super inexpensive. And this can also kind of double as a makeup primer. Now there's no moisturizer in the morning routine and the reason why is because the buffet is actually slightly hydrating when you do put it on. So I don't feel you need a moisturizer. Uh, if you do, go grab one, but this can also double is one because it kind of creates that occlusive barrier on top of the skin that prevents your skin from losing water out in the day. This holds on to makeup really well. I haven't seen a lot of slip throughout the day and use this along with your favorite foundation and see if the two match together. Now here's the thing. At the end of the day, you want to remove that makeup because you don't want it sitting on your skin and clogging your pores. And again, that's where the cleanser comes in. So the nighttime routine is a little bit different. We get a little bit fancy with our actives, but I also have a word of warning when it comes to the toner and the retinol. Let's start with the cleanser. So again, this is not my favorite cleanser, and this is the reason why, is because even though it can remove light makeup, this does not remove hard makeup. If you have a heavy face, if you have beat yourself in the morning, this is not going to remove all of your makeup unless you use the entire bottle. And even though it's only $7, using the entire bottle every day at night just to remove your makeup is not sustainable. So there are other cleansers out there that I like better. However, this is a great one. It fits within to the $100 of this routine. And again, it does kind of turn into that oil that really helps to smooth away light makeup on the skin. It is a good cleanser. It does keep the skin feeling hydrated because it is kind of that squalene base. It doesn't leave the skin stripped. A lot of cleansers end up foaming up and just drying the skin out completely. And that is really counterproductive because then your skin is gonna have to overcompensate and it can lead to your skin's barrier being a little bit permeable. Think of like having a fence or a gate around your house. If a crazy driver decides to come in and just plow down your gate, there's going to be a huge hole or a huge gap that no longer surrounds the home, which is you. And the gate is your skin. So you don't want that to happen. You don't want things getting in there that shouldn't, like psycho drivers, which is why you don't want to use products that will degrade that. Hence, this is a fair cleanser for the job. Next, it's time to tone. This is the only toner that The Ordinary has. I do love that it's alcohol-free. And again, the glycolic acid, we've already spoken about the benefits. But here's the catch. Depending on what else you're using this with, you may not want to use this. I think that if it's on a day that you wore makeup, you do want to use the glycolic just to kind of see if there's anything left over and to mildly exfoliate the skin. 
Um, it is a great toner. I would highly recommend it for night. And if you're not using a retinoid, use this every single evening. It has become my favorite toner for great reason. However, if you're going to use a retinoid, which I do recommend in this routine, this is the step that you're going to skip. So when it comes to your nighttime, choose this one or choose this one. There are so many skin conditions that can benefit from retinoids, and I would say that most people could benefit from using one. Retinoids are fantastic for acne. They are prescribed by doctors for acne. They are great for wrinkles. They have been used by doctors off-label for things like rosacea or even KP, those little chicken bumps that some people get on their arms or on their skin. Retinol, retinol-derived products, and retinol-similar products are amazing. The only problem is that these work best at a pH that is mimicking our skin. Our skin naturally hangs out at around a five on the pH scale, and retinoid-based or retinoid-like products work best at that pH of around five. So this is one of those things that you want to use on a day that you're not wearing makeup or that you're not using something that changes the pH of your skin. This toner is again phenomenal but it brings the skin down to a really low acidic pH and if you were to use a retinoid with it it wouldn't inherently be horrible but it could kind of cancel this out from working and it could stop it from being as effective on your skin or it could cause irritation because this is an exfoliant and this is a very very powerful form of vitamin A that also acts that way. So for me personally, I love the Grand Active Retinoid. The price point is phenomenal, really can't be beat. But if you're going to use the toner, just choose one or the other so that you're not making any mistakes. Now, let's assume that you skipped the retinoid and you're just going on with the toner. The next thing for the evening is some vitamin C. This is the ascorbic acid 8% and alpha arbutin 2% from The Ordinary, and it is wonderful. Vitamin C brightens the skin. It can, again, help with combating the damage that your skin may have occurred throughout the day, um, you know, from just being in the sun. And vitamin C might be another one of those ingredients that can penetrate into the skin and stimulate collagen and elastin, meaning again, helping the skin look firmer and tighter. The thing about vitamin C is that it can be unstable. You can use it in the morning or in the evening, but because of the other things within this skincare routine, you want to see what else you're using it alongside with, because that could again, make it more potent and irritating, or it could render it useless. So a couple drops of this at night are perfect. You just put them on and let them give you a glow. The only thing is that vitamin C can be irritating for some people. The Ordinary does have some other forms of vitamin C that have very, very low irritation. But if irritation persists, always read the manufacturer's directions and consult a physician if something happens. After you have brightened and gotten yourself a little bit of a glow, you can go in with your night moisturizer. This is the Natural Moisturizing Factors and Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. This is such a fantastic moisturizer. And again, for five bucks, like you really can't beat it. I used this all throughout the winter last year, and it has a blend of different nutrients, different amino acids, uh, hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant and holds on to water, all to hydrate the skin. It's this really nice feeling too, because it doesn't feel like your skin is being slathered in oil or like suffocated by oil. You know how oil can kind of create that feeling. It just hydrates the skin and really nicely balances it out. The other great thing is that it gives your skin those nutrients without disrupting anything else that's a part of this routine. Now, if you do have super dry skin, you're going to need a little bit more hydration. If you have super oily skin, you might even want something more mattifying. But for $5 and for everything else considered, this is what I would personally recommend. And what about if you want to do a little bit of extra damage? And by damage, I mean beneficial damage to the outer layer of the skin, the stratum corneum, so it can slough off more so that your skin can rebuild itself. Because you don't actually want to give yourself chemical burns, okay? We already got over this. This is a chemical peel that I would recommend as well as a face mask. And these are two different treatments that, believe it or not, fit into the $100 of this skincare routine. And you can choose to use these maybe once a week or maybe once every other week as needed. The first one is the AHA BHA peeling solution. AHA at 30%, BHA at 2%. This is basically a chemical peel. It is potent, follow manufacturer's directions. It is really fun to use, and it has two acids, the alpha and the beta, which go into the skin and help to kind of loosen up the oil, as well as actually break down some of the keratinocytes so that your skin, once you wash it off, is glowing, soft, smooth, and radiant. 
It can really help with acne. If you do have buildup on your skin, it's a really good way to go. And always follow manufacturer directions when using this. And you could probably do it around once a week or once every other week, depending on how much of a tolerance you've built up to the ingredients. But a potent chemical peel for $7 is really an amazing way to go. And when The Ordinary first launched this, there's nothing else on the market like it. Then we've also got the salicylic acid mask. And this is great for acne prone skin, but it's also good if you just need a little bit of exfoliation. Salicylic acid is a BHA acid, beta hydroxy, and it's oil soluble. So for those who have really oily skin, this is great, even if you don't have acne and you just need that surface exfoliation. Now this also has kaolin clay in it. Kaolin clay can kind of soak up oil and dirt and debris, which is great. But again, this is really something for oily skin. I wouldn't totally recommend this for dry skin. If you have dry skin, you could probably get away with a chemical peel and then making sure that you use a neutralizer afterwards and then a nice hydrator. And we've actually done a full video on my thoughts on this face mask. Again, it is not my favorite face mask out there. And for the price, it is good, it's inexpensive, it does the job. But out of all things considered, there are better things on the market. But if you're trying to manage a good skincare routine and a reasonable budget for skincare products, this is probably the way to go. It fits within this routine. You would use it at night, maybe after your cleanser, maybe once a week, depending on how badly you need it. You could also just target those areas and then wash it off. And again, all of this comes in at under $100 to take care of your skin, to help balance it out, to treat the existing conditions we talked about, to give your skin those things like a little bit of cellular rebuild as well as brightness, and of course to protect the skin, to prevent damage in the future. It's under $100 and I don't think it can get better than this. You and your skin can thank me by going to that like button. Whoosh to that subscribe button if you haven't already, and why not give a couple no strings attached hearts on TikTok or Instagram, because I need validation. I love you beautiful butterflies so much. Here's two more videos on The Ordinary that you might enjoy, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> love you guys, bye.